I get the frustration. I totally understand the temptation. In fact, I myself have yielded to it on more than one occasion. That necessary release of frustration and irritation through laughter, through mockery, over the current state of empty suits and empty heads that make up our nation's leadership. Because honestly, some of it's funny. I think that, to be very honest with you, I, I do believe that we should have rightly believed, but we certainly believe. But some of it's not. In fact, a lot of it's not. And the concern is that we spend more time talking about the stuff that's funny and so much less time talking about the stuff that is deadly serious. For instance, President Biden has recently announced his intention to continue to escalate and ramp up U.S. military and economic involvement in the defense of Ukraine. We'll station more ships in here in Spain. We're stationing more air defense in Italy and Germany, more F-35s in the United Kingdom. And to strengthen our eastern flank, new permanent headquarters for the Army 5th Corps in Poland. The man went on to pledge that the United States taxpayers would be spending another $800 million in an aid package for Ukraine that would include money for air defense systems and arms and ammunition. And when he's pressed on whether or not there was some limiting principle in terms of time and money that U.S. taxpayers would be expected to spend in the Ukraine war against Russia... The White House has reiterated its position. I think the key takeaway from Biden's press conference just now and also from the summit was five words, as long as it takes. Uh -huh. So the logical question that any thinking American would have is, how long might that take? Well, you see, that's where it gets interesting. This same president is preparing for a Mideast trip where there's going to be efforts to... To revive the Iran nuclear deal negotiations between the U.S. and Iran are likely to resume following President Biden's trip to the region later this month. Well, that deal funnels all kinds of economic incentives and financial profits to the Iranian government. You might remember the pallets full of U.S. taxpayer cash that Biden and Obama shoveled in their direction a few years ago as part of this deal. So why does all that matter, you ask? Except, of course, for the fact that there's another place where U.S. taxpayers are spending a lot of money that isn't here at home. Well, here's Jake Sullivan, who is the White House National Security Advisor, giving an update on the war in Ukraine. Listen. Our in information indicates that the Iranian government is preparing to provide Russia with up to several hundred UAVs, including weapons-capable UAVs, on an exped expedited timeline. Our in information further indicates that Iran is preparing to train Russian forces to use these UAVs with initial training sessions slated to begin as soon as early July. That's why this isn't just about stutters and stammers and an old man getting lost in his backyard. This is about an administration preparing to send U.S. tax dollars to Iran, who then will use that money to build and sell weapons to Russia, who will then use those weapons to fight their war against Ukraine. A war then that this administration is sending other U.S. tax dollars to Ukraine to fight against those very weapons that we helped build. And an administration that says we'll continue doing this as long as it takes. So yes, it is important to laugh at the lunacy that surrounds us. It keeps us all sane. And it's important to point out the media's pathetic double standard when it comes to permitting certain individuals who arrogantly demand everyone else call them doctor and respect their edumacation to allow them to get a pass when they refer to the Bogodas of the Bronx instead of bodegas and who say that Latinos or Latinx are as unique as the breakfast tacos here in San Antonio. Can you imagine if this lady had said that? Or this one? So yes, point and laugh to keep your sanity. We all have to. But at some point, it's equally important that we all look beyond just the teleprompter gaffes. End of quote. Repeat the line. And all the verbal faux pas to realize that there are serious, deadly consequences, financially, economically, strategically, to failed buffoonish leadership.